Hi guys, welcome back. I know it has been an incredibly long time since I've come on here and actually made a real true Raleigh Reacts video. I want to apologize for that just right off the bat because I know that you guys love these videos and I know that these videos help a lot of you guys and especially horses in general. So just to give you guys a little bit of an update, yes, my life is really crazy right now. As you guys know, YouTube is not my job. It's not even really a real thing that I do. It's mostly just a hobby on the side. I do own my own company and I am actually starting up another one so my life is just really really chaotic and crazy right now so please bear with me you guys. I love these videos and I will always do them but the frequency of them I cannot guarantee right now. But bitch if you are new to my Raleigh Reacts videos what's up? <laughs> these are videos that I used to do every Wednesday and Saturday. I will eventually get back into doing them every Wednesday and Saturday but right Right now they are going to be very inconsistent and I don't want to promise anything because I don't know when I will be able to upload. So anyway bitch, I love you guys and I missed you guys so fucking much, oh my god. <laughs> if you would like to send me a video to react to, my email is raleighreacts at gmail.com right up there on the screen and in the description down below. Hello, oh my god, I haven't done one of those in so long. <laughs> Just a little disclaimer before we get into the video, this is just me reacting to people. I am not in any way trying to hate on these people or send them hate. I don't link these videos. I don't want you guys to go and attack these people. Although what a lot of them do is wrong, I can only judge based on what I see in the video itself. I don't know these people personally. This is not me judging or attacking them personally. This is just me judging and attacking and correcting what I am seeing on screen in a video. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, let's begin everyone. Let's begin. Oh my god. So ready to judge people. I love it <laughs> Oh god guys if you're gonna send me a video that's longer than like two minutes Please time stamp it for me so that way I know what to react to because I will not sit through a 10 minute video I just won't when it was all over. She was ready for her close-up on display outside Clinton Park stables to show the world Goldie wasn't injured. There's a runaway horse here in Hell's Kitchen. The carriage horse was feeling her oats, calmly walking on 9th Avenue. It's gonna get hit. Before breaking into a run on 54th Street. Stop the horse. And I'm like, what the hell's going on, man? I was like, wow. I was also <laughs> afraid that he was going to jump over the cars and actually come on the sidewalk. I was standing not too far from the cars, so I'm like, you know, I was scared I might get kicked or hit. Eventually, Goldie hoofed it back to 52nd Street. This video shows... Oh my god, that fucking moron. Wow, can we just talk about the fact that that guy is so lucky he did not get kicked or anything by that horse? Oh my god, you fucking moron, man. Angel Diaz trying to corral her. No! My instinct was to jump out, jump in, whoa, calm down. Make that, uh, you know, they just want to be free. I don't think they, you know, they're being treated right. Oh, hello, wanna go on a date? Goldie then trotted back to her stable where NYPD officers were waiting. Goldie's fine, Goldie did one ride today. She came home, she had a lot of extra energy and she went out for a little run around. She's back in the stable, she'll be going to work tomorrow. Goldie's fine. You're literally sitting there acting like, oh, it was no big deal. My horse just went out for a little bit of a run. She's totally fine. Dude, you do, <sighs> do you not realize how much damage this could have caused? You know, a lot of people don't realize this, but horses are in no way afraid of vehicles. I don't want people to think that if there's a loose horse, they should use the biggest thing possible to try to get the horse to slow down or corral it, because that's a terrible, terrible idea. This guy is so lucky that this horse didn't jump on any cars, kill people possibly, damage vehicles, damage passengers, run into people down the road, kick that one dude that was trying to get in the way. If you encounter a loose horse don't do anything just let the horse fucking run dude 
keep the cars out of the way, stay the fuck out of the horse's way, don't try to chase the horse, don't try to corral the horse, don't do anything, because that is just going to escalate the situation. Sure, if you just want to slowly follow the horse just to make sure or warn people, like, yo, dude, there's a loose horse, like, stay the fuck back, that's cool, but don't chase the horse like a predator, don't try to capture the horse like a predator, don't try to make yourself a threat to that horse in any way because it's only going to escalate the situation. But I mean, to that one guy who's like, I don't think they're being treated right, bruh, I love you, thank you so much for saying that on national TV, and homie probably knows absolutely nothing about horses. You get it. Horses do not need to be working in big cities. They just don't, okay? People are like, oh, the horse collapsed on its job. Its job? What the fuck are you talking about, its job? It's a fucking animal. It doesn't have a job. You're literally using these horses and capitalizing on them by exploiting them for public use. That is so fucking terrible. Stop using carriage rides. Stop using police horses. There's literally no fucking reason for it. And all of these horses are treated really poorly and they're overworked and they're exhausted and they're dehydrated. There's so many things wrong with these industries. It's disgusting. <laughs> Did he die? That really fucking blows for you, man, if you just fucking died because you were a moron. <laughs> you know, I think what's funny is that a lot of people don't realize that some horses really won't take shit from you, and some horses will actually reach a breaking point. People who get into this mentality that they can just dominate an animal and constantly be better or bigger than them and force the animal to do what they want, eventually you're gonna get hit in the fucking face. One day you're going to encounter a horse that's not gonna take shit from you, and then you're gonna get into a situation like this or like this <laughs> my god I don't even want to watch this I really don't Yeah, I mean, I really don't know what to say to that. I mean, horse racing sucks and so many people want to sit around and defend it. I even saw one person say, well, the jockey club has great references. And then it's like, bitch, okay, you want to call everyone else biased and everyone else's studies biased? You're literally referencing things that are on the jockeyclub.com. Are you serious? The only people that want to defend the racing industry are people who are either in the racing industry, work for the racing industry, or have ties to the racing industry. Everyone else is like, nah, that shit's fucked and it's terrible and they treat horses like shit and pretty much all animals like shit. You can do a simple Google search and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of articles will come up on all different types of sites. You can find so much evidence to support the fact that racing is abusive. So if you want to defend the racing industry, then you need to wake the fuck up and actually show us proof that all of these supposed horses that you're not killing, that you're treating well, that you're not drugging, that you're not pushing past their breaking point that they're actually doing well, that they're still alive and that they have good homes and that you didn't just dump them or kill them or give them to a slaughterhouse. Yeah, you know what, where's your fucking proof? Yes, there's an actual horse in my house right now that I'm about to race for the day. But first, I'm gonna tell you guys something super exciting. As you guys know, last week I had a brand new song. Every girl in the Super Bowl come out on the game called Star Stable. <laughs> Jack is really excited for this. This is Jack's first time ever racing a horse. Yeah, it's his first time I was close. This is Todd. Todd is his official wrangler, but I'm gonna be taking over duties for the day. Oh my god. I'm gonna kill myself. This is four minutes long. Alright, Todd, do you really trust me? Yeah. No, I don't trust you. Yeah. Ah! Uh, okay, I guess we're going on a walk right now. I think that's what's happening. Let's go back this way. We're going back this way. Oh, wait, you give me kisses. You want to give me kisses? Thank you. Welcome to 
Look at oh the JoJo God. bathroom! Oh my god. Oh my god. I have never watched something that has made me want to kill myself any more than this fucking video. It's like my, my clinical depression just hit me all at once. I hate it so fucking much when people who have a large audience or people who are like famous get horses because they think that it makes them look cool or have some sort of social status. I'm pretty sure Lele Pons did it recently and I'm like, you just look like a fucking idiot. Like don't fuck with things that you don't know anything about. Someone snuck onto a property in Yelm and cut a horse's tongue out. Now she's dead and the family wants to know who did it. Como's Gabe Cohen spoke with him and we want to warn you, the details are very disturbing. A painful feeling fills the peaceful lair around Joey Barkham's Yelm home. It does break your heart to think somebody could be that mean and that cruel. Tuesday morning, Joey made a horrific discovery in her yard. So it was right about here. Their 28-year-old horse Annie's tongue was sitting in the grass, and Annie was in her nearby stable, bleeding from the mouth. She's very calm. She let me halt her up. Did she seem injured? She didn't. But Annie soon showed she was in pain and unable to eat. So Wednesday, the family decided to put her down. We're mourning a loss of a family member like anybody else would. Initially, deputies thought this might have been an accident. But after examining Annie, they say this was intentional. Someone snuck onto the property and cut out her tongue. Your first reaction is you just want to freaking kill somebody. Yes, bitch! Yes! Uh, oh my god, yes. You just want to kill somebody. Oh my god, I can't even tell you. If this happened to my fucking horse, I would hunt you down, okay? I will cut out your fucking tongue with a box cutter. I will split it up, cut it off, man. I will make it as painful as possible. Even some of your teeth, they'll come out. Joey says Annie was friendly and trusting. It's no surprise she'd let someone get close. The sickening question is who would do this, especially to a horse that meant so much to her family and their peaceful home. We're just heartbroken. That's, that's all there is. There is a $2,000 reward to help track down whoever did this. Oh my god. The saddest thing is it's like, how fucked up do you have to be to do this to an animal? I don't understand people who abuse animals, but especially horses, because horses are just so naturally calming and easy to be around. But like, how the fuck could you do that? How? I don't get it. I, I really don't understand how someone can do that to an animal. I just don't get it. Well, I think it's a solid thing to end this video on a positive note, and I'm going to link this uh, news article down below so that maybe if you guys want to go and help out, maybe if you want to help try and find the people that did this to that horse, you can do that. I've never done that before, but I feel like since this is a very new article and they are currently trying to find the person that did this to the horse, I want to help out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, please stay tuned for more. Please be a little bit patient with me. Please make sure to follow me on all my social medias as well as subscribe if you would like to see more of these videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!